What's up guys? It's easy. Another Clash of Clans video. We are still in the Legion of Many. And we're gonna go through one of their clan wars. It's another one that they had won. I think they're like the 365 or something like that. On the wins. Uh, these are mostly Town Hall 11 attacks. Uh, mostly the, the slap attack as well. And they love this attack in the clan. It's such a reliable attack and they evolved it down so well that I could not tell if you took their name away I couldn't tell who was attacking who just by the just by watching the attack sometimes you can tell your teammates by the attack itself but these guys kind of do the same thing so they've been either a I've been a student of the game and all learned the best way to do it and are executing everything at the very best it could be executed or they kind of copy each other and they they learn from each other. Either way, they three star pretty much all, everyone in in the opposing clan except for the very top Town Hall 11s will usually survive. But usually all the Town Hall 10s are three star. Most of the Town Hall 11s are. Uh, I think this war they had won by 10 stars. And when you're doing a 20 versus 20, 10 stars is a big margin. You know, I, two or three stars is, is normal, I guess, but ten stars, that's just a big difference. Um, maybe the other clan kind of pulled a mismatch when they pulled these guys. Either way, first slaps over. Three star. Notice there was a three jump uh, slap attack. Kind of anti three star base design. They have that. They did have the town hall in the bottom section of the base, and the way they had town hall, uh, you know, it wasn't by itself completely. Uh, it was heavily guarded, is what it was. It was guarded by a crossbow, by a cannon, by an archer tower, and just those three defenses could could probably uh, eliminate a golem trying to break through that 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 wall. Uh, can eliminate a hero. I mean, three defenses is a lot to have in one area. So if you're trying to go into the base on Town Hall to secure that star, you got three top defenses beating down on you. So it's a smart move to come in from the back side of that and handle that Town Hall last. Next up, uh, while we were while I was recording the uh, while I was recording the war attacks, uh, Simeo had come on and had showed posted this in the chat. What a great attack this was! Uh, we had just posted flex attack uh, probably two or three days ago now uh, and we put it on the reddit got a lot of responses there that was a million this right here is right under 800,000 and it's not just the raid that I'm impressed with it's the base strength and how well they handled the base strength now keep in mind that he, at Town Hall 10 he has the same balloon levels as he did nine so he's using troops that are still town hall nine there's no differentiation at this point so saves the minions for last saves the hero the heroes i believe are i don't know if they're deployed yet yeah the heroes are deployed now it just does a giant circle around the base with the minions i don't think he has any defenses no yeah he's got a tesla that's the only defense he has left and now now both heroes are running across it so now the Tesla's gone, he's got a couple balloons left. I believe the balloons are gonna run out in front and take out the enemy hero. Only got a king left. Regardless, three star attack. Great attack, Simeon. I believe the next attack in the video is also Simeon. And this was a, there was actually a dip attack where he took his account in Town Hall 10 attacked the town hall nine the base that he attacked has already been attacked once maybe even twice so it's important for you guys in your clan to have a system in place to where if a base is especially if it's a top 10 base but but you know it's not a town hall 11 it's a town hall 10 top 10 base it's important to know your limits and not s send five or six town hall 10s to try to three star base that they're not going to three star when you can send an 11 it's not a guarantee but the odds are much much better because you have the warden's ability you have an extra spell you, it's just, you have tons more strength in 11 so 
starting this attack. Starting off with a baby dragon to start funneling. Looks like uh, he's starting off with a naked queen walk. So and any kind of naked queen or king action means they're, they're in there by itself with no healers on top of them, no support really. And where is the king? I can't, I can't seem to locate the king. I see the queen down bottom. Oh well, I guess it's not important. <laughs> yeah, so what was great about this attack, why I really wanted to show this attack, was he uses that, he used the free spell in Town Hall 9. That's, that's kind of a rarity. Most of the time when you are attacking a Town Hall 9 from the Town Hall 10 position, You'll leave the freeze at home. If you're attacking on the ground, you bring an extra jump. If you're attacking from the air, you can bring an extra rage. Or, you know, maybe a couple of haste. But usually the freeze is not in your tool bag when you're dipping down from Town Hall 10 to Town Hall 9. But, in this case, he used the freeze. He used it on a, on a wizard tap. No, I'm sorry, on a crossbow. It gives him just enough time to get the other defense out of the way. And then by the time that the freeze was wearing off the crossbow, there was a lava hound sitting on top of it uh, I don't know pooping on it I don't know what the hell it does <laughs> smoky poop <laughs> okay so next attack this is by uh, let's try to this, attempt this name wait a second wait a second that's them this is by blackjack I, <laughs> I've been looking at the other side I, I, that's sad. Wow. You can tell it's 3 a.m. Because I, I'm having a hard time reading on the big screen with my glasses on. And uh, simple information is confusing. So, <laughs> time for bed easy. Okay. So, Blackjack comes in with a slap. And he starts off with a jump spell. I haven't mentioned this yet. But, what you'll do when you're using the slap and using the jump spell... Is you're gonna you're gonna put the first jump spell down on the outer wall, and you're gonna put it down before you deploy the first troop. They're all deploying it from the same areas. They're starting off with two, maybe three, uh, witches in the corner, and then two, maybe three witches in the opposite corner. Both sets of witches, which are placed in the corner, have one or two bowlers with them, or one or two wizards with them, depending on what you have in, the, in your camps. So now at this point, they only have a Tesla left, and he's got a big, giant mod squad of troops coming around the outside of the base that will easily overwhelm this this uh, Tesla tower. So it's another three-star. Great attack from Blackjack. So anyway, yeah, you'll start off with that one jump spell on the outer walls, and that's so important because if your troops take out the that one building that's right there in front of where you'd want the jump spell, and then you put a jump spell in after that defense or that trash building is out, well, everything has already ignored that spot, and they will walk away from that jump spell like it's not even there. And we all know that's a frustrating thing to happen. So what you'll do is you'll start by off the attack by putting the jump spell down immediately. By doing this, it actually has a couple of benefits for you. The first benefit is that you don't have to worry about it later. While you may have a, a whole bunch of troops on, on the board, and then next thing you know, you're, you're, you're watching a troop or you're watching an area that may be in a little trouble and you're looking around and now you have a bunch of spells left over at the end of the attack because you sat there and watched the attack instead of used all your spells, which I've done, you know, sad. So you'll put the jump spell down first. Now, the only time you wouldn't want to do that is when you're going to use it in an area of a base that's going to take your troops too long to get to. Because, you know, they, they, they don't last forever, but depending on your town hall level, a, a max jump spell, it lasts for half the attack. I, I think it's a, an entire minute that it lasts for, maybe two, I don't know. But uh, I know that I know that everyone puts them down right at the beginning. I remember when I first started playing, I first started watching uh, Clash videos, there was a lot of people doing uh, golem attacks, stone golem attacks with three golems. And they would put down two, sometimes three jump spells right at the beginning of the attack. And it seemed like the troops had a had a really easy time selecting what's on the other side of the wall when the jump's there, if it's down before they even approach the wall to begin with. So, the jump spell in the in the bitch slap or in the slap attack is a vital part of this attack. 
the witches, which are powerful, the, uh, the, these witches are really powerful, their skeletons are powerful, they're hard to kill, it's hard for the defenses to target them because the witches are spawned so quickly, but at the same time, the, the skeletons are very squishy, so if there's any kind of splash defense at all, at all, did I say at all at all or around at all? I meant around at all, so just erase that from the memory banks if you heard that. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, there, if there's any kind of defense that does splash damage in the area at all, one shot and all the whip, all the skeletons are gone. So you don't want to rely on skeletons to, to push through walls, even if you have a rage spell. It's much easier to put the jump spell on and, and allow those skeletons to trickle over the wall or, 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 or maybe build up and just have a giant avalanche of, of skeletons jump over the wall at one time. So... Next attack <laughs> is actually done on me. Now this is, I had to show this because of the quality of attack that it was. They started off with trying to do a wizard walk, which I've never heard of that before because wizards are not strong enough to withstand multiple defenses shooting out them at one time. So then I guess he was trying to put in one Valkyrie at a time to have some kind of control and have the, the healers jump from Valkyrie to Valkyrie. And really all that he did was ascend troop after troop after troop right to their death because they kept on running into things they didn't expect. The uh, the Infernal Tower reaches Town Hall. So when they put in all those Valkyries, well the first thing the Valkyries did is they turned around and then ran after the hero, which is actually on the back side of Town Hall. So the, the, the Archer Queen pulled a bunch of the, of the Valkyries off of Town Hall to go after her and... They did take, they killed her real quick, but as they tried to retarget the town hall, the Infernal Tower had already been burned down, hunt them long enough, and they just all popped, done, cooked. So, that's going to go down in the history books as one of the worst attacks of all time, and it was not done by me. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so that about wraps it up. It's kind of short video. I'm trying to get these videos down between like 10 and, and 12, 13 minutes. So, uh, short video. Hope you liked it. Hit the like button if you liked the video. Uh, sub to the channel. Get, got some uh, recent subs lately. You know, this is the first year we've done, we've done this. And we kind of hovered around 80 subscriptions for a month or two. And now we're just about at 90. Uh, my goal for this year is to get a thousand, so we're not quite on track for that, but I still think we have a shot at it. So sub to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, check out the guide. It should be live by about the 7th of July. Been putting a bunch of work on it. It is, we had the uh, website which was from Damage Inc. and it started off as a clan website. It then evolved into a guide for Clash of Clans. Now we have kind of removed all of the uh, all of the damage ink stuff from the website and it's strictly the ultimate guide to clash of clans it has every piece every defensive piece every troop everything you can think of it's got easy's guide on every channel <laughs> there's no channels on, on it actually it's got easy's guide on every page <laughs> so you gotta check it out it's a great alternative to the wikia it's a great alternative to some of these other so uh, sources out there uh appreciate everyone for watching Thank you if you're one of our loyal subscribers. I really do appreciate you guys. Take, a ca take care. Till next time, it's been easy.